Harmonious Echoes of the Past, Unraveling Brower's Musical Company. In the realm of fine art, few pieces encapsulate the essence of 17th century camaraderie and musical indulgence as vividly as Musical Company. This masterpiece, reminiscent of the style of Adrian Brower, transports viewers to an intimate setting where music and companionship intertwine. The artwork is a symphony of visual elements that breathe life into a bygone era. Three men are depicted in earnest song, their faces animated with expressions that transcend the canvas's confines. One plays the violin with fervor, his fingers dance gracefully upon the strings, evoking sounds that viewers can almost hear. The open songbook on the table serves not just as a testament to their musical endeavor but also as an artistic element grounding the scene in realism. Set between 1620 to 1750, this painting mirrors a period when music was not just an art but a communal experience. It was an age where song breathed life into gatherings and strung individuals together in harmonious unity. The attire worn by these singing men is indicative of their time, simple yet elegant, reflecting an era where artistry and practicality coalesced seamlessly. The backdrop is adorned with elements enhancing its historical authenticity, Two jars rest upon a chest echoing craftsmanship typical of 17th century decorum. A painting within this painting graces the wall, it's like stepping back in time within time itself. As two individuals enter through a door, they are about to be encapsulated within this musical enchantment, symbolic perhaps of new influences constantly shaping and reshaping art during this period. Musical company isn't merely a painting, it's an experience, a harmonious blend of visual storytelling echoing sounds from centuries past while inviting future generations to listen intently. In every brushstroke reminiscent of Brower's mannerism lies history, artistry, and above all else, humanity united in song.